On May 4, 2023, American Eagle operated its final scheduled Embraer 145 flight into Champaign, Illinois. Envoy Air, one of the regional airlines operating on American Eagle's behalf, is retiring its 145 fleet on May 31st. The American 145s have served Champaign for nearly two decades and, as such, have played a huge role in my life because growing up, these planes were mostly all I'd ever see here. So naturally, I had to be there for the last 145 flight to Willard Airport. On the night of May 4th, I and fellow YouTuber All of Aviation made our way airside just in time for the nightly American Airlines quote-unquote rush. The final scheduled 145 flight to Champaign was coming in from Chicago. The Dallas service had already been replaced earlier in the day by the Embraer 175, and the first of these upgraded flights was on approach right behind the Chicago flight. It was quite the dramatic scene to see the 145 on final approach for runway 14 left, with its replacement lining up right behind. Turn the lights on right as they slow down. This wasn't the first time Envoy had replaced their 145 flight to Champagne with the 175. In fact, back in January 2018, certain flights to Chicago received temporary upgages to the 175, however, this didn't last very long. The 175 would later make occasional visits to Champaign as last-minute equipment changes on the Dallas and Chicago flights. It wasn't until late 2022 that the Dallas flights were officially upgaged to 175 service for the first time in Willard Airport history. This upgrade lasted for about two months before being downgraded back to the 145. But now, from May 4th, 2023, the Dallas service was upgaged once again to the 175. Only this time, it was for good. After the Dallas flight landed, we made our way as close as legally possible to the terminal ramp to get some close-up shots. It was a beautiful evening. Despite the chilly weather that I was severely underprepared for, the full moon and clear skies were a sight to behold. As the Dallas flight positioned itself just short of Gate 2, the sad reality of Willard Airport's staffing shortage was realized. 
The ground crew was still busy servicing the Chicago flight that had arrived earlier, and as such, nobody was present to marshal the Dallas flight into the gate. It was really hard to believe that over two decades of Ember 145 service to Champaign was officially coming to an end. The aircraft you see here would operate its final revenue flight the next morning to Dallas-Fort Worth, while the 175 would go to Chicago. The reason for this equipment change is that after landing in Dallas, this 145 would be ferried to Marana, Arizona to be retired. The Chicago flights were officially upgraded to Embraer 170 service the next day, a video that will be coming soon. Now, even though this was the last officially scheduled arrival of the 145 into Champaign, it wasn't actually the last flight of this plane to the airport. Ironically enough, the 145 would end up making unscheduled visits to Champaign in the days that followed, serving as last-minute equipment changes from the originally scheduled Embraer 170s. After about six minutes of waiting on the apron, the ground crew was finally able to bring the Dallas flight into the gate. Just chilling here with all of aviation. What's up? How you doing, guys? What you got to say about the, the what's yeah, going on over here? Pretty good. We got one, we got an E170 and an E145. E170 is getting ready to be tugged over to the hangar, and then the E145 will follow. Yep. That's about it. Other than that, it's pretty boring out here. Beautiful though. night, though. Yeah. Beautiful night. No wind. Very calm. It's pretty cold, though, right? How cold is it? Yeah, it is. It is a bit chilly. It's 62 degrees. That's that's not bad. It's not bad. Once the 175 had finished offloading and being serviced, Gate 2's jetway detached from the aircraft in preparation for the aircraft getting moved into the hangar. Just a few minutes later, Gate 3's jetway detached from the 145 for the same reason. I think that's way cooler than not having a tug. You, you know? see it knock over the cones? Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah, it knocked over all the cones. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> oh, is it going to talk to AC? Oh. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to stay any longer to see the planes getting pushed into the hangar. This is because Flightstar, the on-site FBO at the airport, closes at 10 p.m., and we were already cutting it very close on time. But if you want to see how the aircraft are placed inside the hangar, check out this video of mine that I published a few months back. So over 15 to 20 years of Ember 145 operations in Champaign has finally come to an end with the arrival of this particular aircraft here on May 4th, 2023, and it'll depart back to, not back to, but it'll depart to Dallas tomorrow morning. I won't be here for that, 
Um, and then who knows from DFW, it'll probably go to Marana, Arizona to get parted out or stored, but last flight out is tomorrow. And the Ember 175 is already in the hangar. We couldn't go see it because Flight Star closes at 10 and uh, we didn't want to risk being locked airside. So unfortunately it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to tonight. Uh, I would have preferred getting it in the hangar with the 145 up close once again, but um, because they scheduled the flights a lot later now, American, they instead of our 8.30, 8.45 arrivals, they're now coming in at like 9.30, so um, didn't really time it right with the Flight Star closing time. Um, but there we have it. Well, everybody, this is going to do it for today's video. I'm not going to stick around until they put this thing in the hangar i don't have time unfortunately tonight but thank you so much for sticking around this is a big big moment in champagne airport history uh, starting from tomorrow it's going to be all ember 170s and 175s coming in and uh, this is a, just my childhood coming to an end here envoy is going to retire these from their fleet officially on may 31st the last flight going to be from chicago to wausau wisconsin and back um but here in Champaign, the last flight out is tomorrow, May 5th, to Dallas. And then I think the plane will probably go to Marana or Ab Abilene somewhere to get uh, retired. Um, but thank you all so much for tuning into this video and just experiencing this, just part of my childhood going away. You know, I grew up seeing these planes, the 145s, the 135s, and the 140s in the old livery, just flying in and out of this airport. And uh, it's, it's over just like that. So... Thank you once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video. And special thanks to Flight Star for allowing me to document this. And special thanks to All of Aviation for escorting me onto the ramp. It was a lot of fun. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.